up and welcome to another episode of The Adventures of JP. Cheat Day. The Adventures of JP. Cheat Day. The Adventures of JP. We are still going to be checking the comments to see what you guys pick and we will let you know officially, you know what I'm saying, what it's going to be. Anywho, mm -hmm. today as in every day, we're going to be going somewhere fabulous mm -hmm. in the 901. So let's see where we're going. <laughs> No objections today? Um, I was gonna say, are we gonna do rock, paper, scissors? Because that's what you said we was gonna do. And here it comes. Okay. And Did you forget? Rock, paper, scissors. I went again. It's too easy. Okay. <laughs> Let's pick. Uh, and we're gonna be going. Oh, okay. Come on. Good gravy. City Silo. Hmm, I've never heard of them. I haven't either, but that's exactly what this list is all about. We're excited. We're gonna go. We're gonna Google them. We're gonna GPS them. Yes, and we're gonna please. get rolling. So, since you picked, you without to... further ado, mm -hmm. I already got the keys. Good. To the J Bear Mobile. City Silo. The Foxy Barbecue. Looks right, right nice and foxy. Actually, I like spaghetti squash quite a bit. And so that is the principal uh, item on this. I'm going to read you the uh, thing, uh, the description here. The Foxy Barbecue has roasted sesame. Oh. Okay, reading the description here. The Foxy Barbecue has roasted sesame spaghetti squash. Grilled and tossed in Charlie's Select Rendezvous barbecue sauce. Y'all know about the rendezvous. And topped with tangy purple slaw. Toasted, freshly baked bun. Fresh bun, uh, break bun for the win. And then this nice side salad. So, I am a big fan of spaghetti squash. I have never had it as a vegan or vegetarian pairing on a sandwich. So this is going to be an interesting endeavor. I'm going to share with my sister here so that we can enjoy one of Chew's 901's places to be. It's her time. Your turn. You're definitely going to want to try this. My husband is um, pretty much vegetarian right now. So I'm seeing a lot of things that I could definitely order or try for him. Um, what I will say about the salad, even though it is very simplistic, um, it has a nice tangy kind of lemon vinaigrette that they probably made in-house. Um, and so it just has a nice 
little flavor there. And the fact that I'm actually going in for more, it says a lot because we're pepper people. That's number one. They acted like they weren't, but oh my God. But <laughs> also it doesn't have any cheese, any bacon bits or anything like that on it. So it's friendly for all those folks, but at the same time, it's, it's still tasty. They have a nice little palette over here. And I actually have this one and I haven't got into it just yet. So I think I'm gonna be able to avoid becoming like a, a monster with my hands. So. All right. I'm gonna hold it like that. Um, you have to. All right, sandwiches up. Yes, please assemble it. And we're going to toast the sandwich. No, we're toasting. Yes, toast the sandwich. All right. Thank you. All right. Are you ready? You got to edit her. really interesting combination yeah. well I like the flavor I mean I am a barbecue person like <laughs> the fourth dad threw down it was amazing my dad can out barbecue your dad no contest none <laughs> I'm telling you if he really went to the world barbecue he really it's over out. the ribs it's, were just it's falling over. It's over. out their bones so you know this is a huge stretch for me it's amazing but yeah. because we're carnivores but Yes. The flavors, though, the flavors I can get with because I mean, I haven't actually had the rendezvous. I don't know if they're on this list, but if so, then I will have them. But um, barbecue sauce is always a win for me because I like to dip my fries in it. Mm. Um, mm, I don't know about that. Yeah, um, they like ketchup. I do love ketchup, but you gotta squeeze it all around. Like you know what I'm saying? You gotta saturate everything. If I'm gonna do ketchup on fries. But back to this um, foxy, foxy lady. So I'm getting some spice. So I don't know if that's actually just from the seasoning because I do see that they were kind of liberal with the seasoning, which is good because it's spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash is something that's kind of like tofu. Like it's soaking up what you're putting in it. If you put it in some kind of marinade, it's gonna be more flavorful if you add those spices. So it's giving me some kick and definitely the barbecue sauce is giving me tang. Um, and then the coleslaw is cool. Um, I'm assuming it's vegan. I don't know for sure because I didn't read all the details. Um, but it just says that it's tangy. Um, it's, it is a little tangy. Not quite as twangy as I was expecting. But it's a nice fresh crunch that is on there. So um, overall, I do like the flavor of this. I wish that it was more of a spaghetti um a spaghetti a spaghetti squash patty like where it because as you see when i cut it it kind of came so i wish that the patty would stay more together um so that i could really get it because it's kind of falling apart um so that is my only real knock the bun very soft um so i love the toasting of it because i toast all of my bread um i can really taste kind of the richness and the butter in there because you know we love butter <laughs> for bakers so um what's the jb score um my jb scale for the foxy barbecue burger as it is i would give it Um, I'm debating. I want to, okay, so I've got to come out of, I don't want to compare it to anything else that I've had before. So, um, <clears throat> just having this, let me get one more bite. Let me get one more bite so I can be honest without comparing it to anything else. Do you have your, your score? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to give it a six. And the reason is, um, when I bit it, it reminded me of cabbage. And I felt like I was eating the cabbage 
burger of sorts. It, the spaghetti squash is so like tender that it didn't feel like I was actually biting into a barbecue sauce because you know meat is a little thicker. So I mean, overall the flavor was good, the bun was good, the slaw was good. You could definitely taste like cabbage. So I give it a six. And it's just you know it's not my forte, but it's not bad at all. People that actually eat like vegetarian food and everything, I think they would. Okay, so, um, I want to give two. Just on flavor alone, I will give it a 7.25. Because I think that the flavor really does speak well for what they're trying to do. Because I've had a lot of vegan things, and I've had a lot of vegetarian things. Again, because my husband does like uh, to do that right now. So, um, on the overall composition and <laughs> easiness of eating, I would give it like a, a six five five because it kind of falls apart, um, but it is a tasty morsel. But definitely, if you're getting your workout on, you're trying to get snacks for the summer, this is the place to be that got good flavors and it's not going to hit your waist long. All right. Thanks for joining us for another episode, guys. Vivid, maybe. It's Tyler's Marketing Pantry. Without further ado, we came, we ate, we out.